Hi, today I'm going to talk about the most common types of securities issued in investor financings of privately held emerging technology companies. As most emerging technology companies are organized as corporations due to investor requirements, I want to focus on the securities issued by corporations. The first type of security that is issued in the financing is common stock. Common stock is the base form security issued by virtually all corporations. It is typically issued to the initial founders of the company and sometimes as part of the initial friends and family financing round. The advantages of using common stock is that it is relatively simple to do and oftentimes quick and inexpensive to issue. The disadvantages of issuing common stock is that it is typically not the security that investors want because of its limited rights. Also from the company's perspective, it creates a pricing event that will likely impact the valuation of the exercise price of stock options, which companies typically try to keep as low as possible for employees and consultants. A second form of security that is commonly issued in a financing of an emerging technology company is convertible debt. As the name suggests, uh, the security is typically a promissory note that contains principal and accruing interest. It is most frequently used uh, in between priced financing rounds. Oftentimes, convertible debt automatically converts into another security as part of what's referred to as a qualified financing. A qualified financing usually entails another raise of capital above a certain dollar amount. For example, a convertible debt financing of $250,000 could set a qualified financing threshold of $1 million. And upon selling securities for at least $1 million, the convertible debt would automatically convert to the securities sold as part of that $1 million offering. Usually, we set up the documents uh, to also convert when the company and holders of a majority of the principal of the note issued in the financing want all the notes to convert. The advantage of the convertible debt is that it is relatively quick and inexpensive to implement and the terms are frequently not heavily negotiated. It also uh, limits the negotiation required related to company valuation as the valuation is typically set as part of the qualified financing. The disadvantage associated with using convertible debt is that the company has to carry on its books the amount of principal and interest that accrue under the promissory notes. And frequently, the company has to issue 1099s to investors for the amount of interest that is paid or converts into the next financing. We have a separate video covering convertible debt financings. A third type of security that is commonly issued in a financing of an emerging technology company is referred to as convertible preferred stock. It is often denoted by letters and sometimes numbers such as Series A, Series A1, Series B, Series C, etc. Convertible preferred stock is typically the security of choice for angel investors and institutional investors of privately held emerging technology companies. The conversion features enables the stock to be converted to common stock in the event of certain events such as a public offering. The conversion feature also is used for adjustments as part of the anti-dilution protection for the investors is more complicated than common stock or convertible debt. It commonly provides rights such as liquidation preferences in the event of the sale or dissolution of the company, voting rights, protected provisions, and veto rights over certain actions taken by the company. While the, ter uh, the terms for the convertible preferred stock can be heavily negotiated, the types of preferred uh, stock offerings with institutional investors are relatively standard, the details of which though are negotiated. The disadvantage of using convertible preferred stock is that the transaction costs can be comparatively high and the timing to complete the financing usually takes longer than other types of offerings. In addition, there are frequently several documents used in convertible preferred stock financings that are relatively complicated and can be overwhelming for some, especially for those who are not familiar with uh, the details of these types of transactions. Convertible uh, uh, debt and common stock and convertible preferred stock are the most frequently used types of securities issued in financings. Occasionally one sees other variations. Uh, for instance, convertible equity is a recent type of security that has garnered some popularity. It has similar features to convertible debt, but it does not actually evidence a debt obligation of the company. Rather, it includes the amount of investment and the procedures by which the investment will eventually be converted into the equity of the company upon the occurrence of certain events. Another form of security that occasionally one sees is preferred stock without a conversion feature. The preferred stock would typically have accruing and payable dividends and other provisions that are common to convertible preferred stock, but the preferred stock itself does not have a convertible to common stock feature. So what are the takeaways for the most common types of securities issued in investor financings of privately held emerging technology companies? One, common stock is the base form of security issued by corporations, 
but is typically only sold to founders and occasionally friends and family, but not typically used with outside investors. Two, convertible debt is a promissory note convertible into another security and most frequently used in between priced financing rounds. Three, convertible preferred stock is most commonly used security for angel investors and institutional investors. And four, there are other forms of securities issued in financing, such as convertible equity and preferred stock without a conversion feature. But these types of securities are not used as often. I hope you found this uh, overview to be helpful. If you have any questions, questions, let us know. Thanks.